Hello everyone, my name is Kishan and in this video we will see how we can extract a database tables data into a CSV file using Python. So say suppose I have a table called as employees in the Oracle database. It has around 107 records and now if I want to extract this data into a CSV file, um, we can do that using the pandas library uh, of, of Python. There are a very few number of steps that we can follow to extract any data from um, mostly any database uh, into, your, into a CSV file. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to uh, import the module. So if you are working with an Oracle database, you need to work with CX Oracle package. If it's uh, the MS SQL server, you can use PyODBC or PyPyODBC to do that. If you're working with MySQL, you can use PyMySQL. And if it's Postgres, you can use the uh, Psycop G2 package to basically connect to this database. And the second package that we'll be using is the Pandas, which is a data analytics uh, package available in Python. So the first step that we need to do is we need to create a connection to the database. Once we have established the connection, we can execute the query um, and get the results into a data frame. And finally, we can then write the data frame into, onto a CSV file. So in just three easy steps, we can extract uh, data from a table into a CSV file. So let's hop onto the code and see how it can be done. So on the screen is the Python code uh, to extract the tables data into a CSV file. First of all, we Im import the libraries. In this case, we are working with an Oracle database, so it's CX Oracle, and then we import the Pandas library. Uh, in the next step, we create a connection uh, to the database. So basically, we use the connect method uh, and we pass in the connection string that is basically the username, the password, the location, colon, the uh, port, and the society of the database. Um, once we have passed this in, uh, the next step is to use the read SQL query function in the pandas library. So basically the, what this function does is it takes two inputs from you. It takes in the query. It can be a simple query like this, which is select extra from employees, or it can be a very complicated join query. Uh, so you basically pass on the pass in the query and the connection to the read SQL function, and it would give you a data frame, which has the, the execution data of the query. A data frame is like an Excel file or a database table. It has indexed columns and rows. So basically you can then use the two CSV uh, function to kind of write the um, uh, the data, data frames uh, data into a CSV file. So you need to put, uh, put in the path where you want to create the CSV file as well as you need to pass an index as equal to false. If you don't pass an index it is equal to false, what it will do is it will create, it will give you the index value of each row, which you would not really need. We'll see how it looks like in both the cases. So I'll extract this file, I'll execute this file, and we'll see that the data will be extracted. So um, even if you know the database changes, even if, you, if you're working with MySQL or SQL Server, this, these steps would remain the same. Basically, you would be importing a different package to connect to the database, but otherwise the steps would remain the same. So as you can see, the execution of the of the of the script has completed. Now we can jump on to this output location to check the data. You can notice I have given a small R uh, preceding the path. That is basically to say that these uh, forward slash are not uh, there for any special characters that me uh, so it would just consider this as a string in and nothing else So as you can see the file has been extracted at the given location if we open this file We'll be able to see the tables data the hundred and seven records with all the columns in it. So here it is We can see that all the hundred and seven records have been extracted the first record is for the column uh, and all the all the columns are extracted as well so this is how you can simply extract uh, your tables data into the csv file using python now let's see what would have happened if we would have not passed in the index is equal to false 
and just leave it as is. In this case, the index for each row would also get printed, which which would be which would be an additional column. Um, and usually we don't need this data, but we'll see. Um, we can see it basically gave me some error, and that is because uh, the CSV file is open on my system. I'll just close this file here, and I'll try again to execute this. And we'll see that the data would be executed in a, in a minute. Looks like it is done. Let me open the file. And basically here we can see that there is an additional column which has the index value of each row. So this is the default index value where it is an incrementing number. So if you don't need this, just pass index is equal to false. So in this three easy step there is you can extract your tables data onto a CSV file. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like, share, and comment. Uh, please do let me know what more videos would you like to like to see. This is Kishan signing off. Thank you.